today i will cover implicit uh, lock pattern this implicit lock uh, design pattern belongs to offline concurrency patterns and uh, this offline concurrency patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture first we will see the explanation of uh, implicit uh, lock pattern this is the explanation allows framework or layer super type code to acquire offline locks uh, we'll see one example so that you will understand uh, the sentence to explain this implicit lock uh, design pattern i have uh, taken customer table and uh, it has uh, five column uh, customer id last name first name items orders and lock and uh, it has only one row uh, customer id is 129 and uh, last name joe first name john items ordered five and uh, lock is no okay this is the important column uh, uh, lock is no meaning uh, this this record is not obtained by any uh, business transaction or any other session okay and the left side you can see a uh, business transaction and uh, framework and uh, lock manager okay so this business transaction trying to load uh, customer this 129 customer so what this framework will do is uh, before it returns the customer it will uh, call lock manager so this what this lock manager will do is it will put lock on the particular uh, row which uh, business transaction is requesting uh, so in this case business transaction is requesting 129 row so initially lock is no uh, so what the framework does is it it calls a lock manager then this lock manager will put lock equal to y uh, so once uh, it puts the lock uh, then this lock manager will return success to the framework then framework will return customer information to the business transaction so once this lock is y uh, then no other business transaction uh, can access this record and modify this information okay so the key thing is uh, lock so once lock is there no other uh, transaction can uh, acquire this record and modify the information this uh, framework will responsible for maintaining the lock to the particular row uh, now if you read this uh, sentence you will understand allows framework or layer super type code to acquire offline locks so this framework is responsible for uh, locking the particular row and unlock the particular row okay uh, what is the main use of uh, this implicit uh, lock pattern is to avoid uh, conflict between the parallel uh, business transaction so to avoid uh, conflict between the parallel business transaction we can use uh, implicit lock pattern and uh, avoid the conflicts uh, this is about uh, implicit lock uh, design pattern. Thanks for watching. Bye.